Excalibur truly might have been correct because it's starting to feel like we are all fools. See, as anime fans, we're all scrambling for a morsel of our favorite anime to release brand new and interesting content. The Black Clover anime not only wants the anime to come back, but the manga to be weekly again. The One Punch Man fandom has been waiting on season three for, I think, four years. The Attack on Titan fandom has had their final season broken into so many parts, you could call it my heart when my sixth grade girlfriend broke up with me over text. I'm still not over it. Every anime fan base is scrambling to to get however much of their content as they possibly can. And truly, sometimes it feels as though the quality it's given to us in doesn't truly matter as long as it's the right IP being given to us. Has Attack on Titan's quality absolutely nosedived since MAPPA took over? 100%. Are we still clamoring to get new episodes whenever we can? 100%. Do we wish that Black Clover's manga was still weekly? Absolutely. Do we understand that the mangaka needs to take some time away from writing a silly little story for all of us and therefore we'll take a chapter every three months? Also, absolutely. Being an anime fan is as much about having incredibly hyped moments when your favorite IP truly pays off as it is about having substantial lows between seasons or just hearing that your show or favorite manga has been canceled or relegated to a quarterly manga because the anime in manga business is brutal. It is grueling, backbreaking work for not only the mangakas, but all of their editors and their animators, which is why the majority of us are very willing to accept what's ever thrown onto our plate, which is why the Naruto fandom has been buzzing for the last couple of months. See, because this year and 2022 represented the 20th anniversary of Naruto, the anime airing. So we as a Naruto fandom, even though the show has been over for almost six years, actually probably more than six years at this point, have been given a bunch of new content to interact with. Not only did we get a 10 minute video reanimating some of the most hype moments all throughout Naruto and Naruto Shippuden, but we also got things like Naruto 99 and Minato's one shot manga all things that were massive surprises to the entire fandom. Things we didn't ask for, but we were entirely grateful for. That's not true. We've been clamoring for a Minato manga for a long time. But the true cherry on top to all of this was the fact that Viz and Soatia announced that we were getting four new episodes of Naruto. And immediately upon hearing that we were getting four new episodes of Naruto, everybody started clamoring and trying to figure out what these four episodes would be about. Would these episodes be a half hour long or a full hour long? Would these episodes be a unique four episode non-canon arc or reanimations of some of Naruto's greatest moments? We just had no idea, but we were very curious. And about a week ago, leaks started to come out that confirmed that not only would these four episodes all be an hour long, but they would be reanimations of four of Naruto's most important arcs. Those being the tuning exams, the Sasuke retrieval arc, Naruto versus Nagato, and Itachi versus Sasuke. And in that moment, the entirety of the Naruto fandom came together and clamored for exactly that to happen. However, these leaks weren't confirmed by anything. And what's worse than that is that they were actually pretty quickly debunked. Because as we got closer to the release date, September 3rd, the day that we would receive our first new episode of Naruto in over six years, TV guides from Japan started to leak. And while absolutely sitting there on September 3rd was a blocked out time schedule for Naruto's 20th anniversary first episode, that blocked out time schedule was only a half hour long. From 5.30 to 6, that's how long the first episode of Naruto's new four episode run would last, which with advertisements, just like every other episode of anime in history, would amount to about 22 minutes. And just like that, the one hour theory was dead in the water. But I wish I could sit here and tell you that that's the worst thing that's happened in regards to Naruto's four episode new run. Because now not only are these episodes not going to be an hour, they're also not happening, or at least not happening as we planned them to. Which is why today we're talking, we're not getting new episodes of Naruto. But before we get into what's going on in the complicated Naruto world, guys, please, for me, like this video, subscribe to the page, and hit that noti bell. And if you love the idea of me breaking down anime news from some of your favorite anime, then you're gonna love my other channel, The Weeb Commander, where instead of talking about Naruto and Boruto, I talk all other anime. And if you just love the idea of me talking anime news or anime in general, you're gonna love my anime podcast, Utaku's Anonymous, where me and Danny Mata break down everything that happened in anime this week, this news, very much included. But before we get into all that, though, today we gotta talk about our favorite recurring sponsor to the page, 
factor. Listen, we all know that we should be eating better, but eating good takes so much time and so much money. You need to go to the grocery store. You need to know what you're looking for. You need to have a recipe in mind. You need to know what ingredients you need, what portions of ingredients you need. You need to wait in line. You need to check out. That costs hundreds of dollars, but factor is the answer to all of that. See, Factor not only makes sure that you're eating well, but also that you save time. With Factor, you get to skip the chopping, the prepping, and the cleanup while getting all of the flavor and nutritional quality that you need. See, because Factor's fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals are ready in two minutes, so you can heat, enjoy, and get back to doing the things you love. So adjust your stride this autumn, all without missing a step, as Factor offers you 34 fresh, nutritious, dietitian approved options for meals every single week. Every single one of which is ready in two minutes. See, listen, when you need to film six YouTube videos a week while also taking care of two, incredibly needy pit bulls, time isn't necessarily on your side. But at the same time, nutrition and a healthy diet has always been a massive part of my life. So when I saw myself slipping from my nutritional goals because I didn't have time to reach them, I started panicking. But that's when Factor came into my life and made sure that not only would I still keep smashing my nutritional goals, but also that I would have enough time to film these videos for you and make time for these guys. But I'm talking a lot about how delicious these meals are, but talking and showing are two different things. So. Let's go. Today we're gonna to be making this tomato basil chicken risotto. And all we need to do to make it is slide off this protective cover, poke a couple of holes in the filament, throw in the microwave for the very simple act of two minutes, peel the film, which I wouldn't recommend trying to do with one hand, and get to eating a delicious, nutritious, dietitian approved quick and easy meal. Mmm, not good. That chicken is so tender. So what are you guys waiting for? Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code NCHAMMER2350 to get 50% off your first order today. That's factor75.com or use the link in my description and use code NCHAMMER2350 to get 50% off your first factor box today. So, four new episodes of Naruto, the talking point of the Naruto community for the last couple of months. And we have been counting down the days until September 3rd when we get the first of our weekly releases for these four new episodes of Naruto. These four new episodes of Naruto, which were supposed to take us into Boruto kicking back up again in its most important arc, as the Boruto anime ends its hiatus in October, directly after these four episodes were supposed to be over. So, these four episodes are supposed to act as a way to quench our Naruto thirst until we got new Boruto. And for all intents and purposes, people were more excited about these four episodes than Boruto coming back, which I believe is kind of crazy because Studio Periot and the powers that be are taking their time to animate Boruto's greatest arc. And considering some of the fights that we got from Boruto before it went on hiatus means that the Boruto content we're going to get now after hiatus is probably going to be some of the best Boruto content we've ever been given. But, uh, you're gonna stay thirsty for a little while. Because you know that thirst quenching cactus that Studio Periot was handing us in the form of these four episodes? They're gone. Well, maybe gone is a dramatic word, but they're not coming nearly as soon as we expected. See, on August 29th, the Naruto official website put out a post saying that the four episodes that we were gonna receive on September 3rd, 10th, 17th, and 24th, we're mathing now, baby, have been delayed. Delayed to when? We don't know. All we know is that they said, since these episodes are meant to celebrate Naruto's 20th anniversary, that they're being postponed to increase their quality, which is... It's really weird, and it's really weird for a lot of reasons. But before we get into why it's weird, basically the rest of the post tells us that once Studio Periot has a better understanding of when these higher quality episodes will be able to come out, they'll inform us through the official Naruto website. So for the current moment, our four new Naruto episodes have been postponed indefinitely. They didn't even really give us any hints as to how long this postponement would be. They simply stated that we're gonna take extra time to increase the quality of these four episodes. Now let's get into why a postponement of these four episodes is weird. Using the little information that we had about these four episodes in the first place. See, the wording of we're taking extra time to further increase the quality of these episodes has been taken in a couple of different ways. Some people believe that the animation of these four episodes wasn't up to par, and therefore Studio Peria decided that letting these episodes go out as a celebration of Naruto's 20th anniversary would be kind of a bad look, which is definitely a possibility. Because let's imagine for a second, these four episodes are reanimations of key moments all throughout Naruto. If these four episodes don't look vastly different from the four arcs that we believe that they would be reanimations of, what 
is the point to any of these episodes. Because here's the thing, well, obviously the Sasuke retrieval arc and the tuning exams happened over a decade ago, and therefore reanimating them in 2023 style would create a stark difference if, hypothetically, we were also getting reanimated arcs from the likes of Shippuden. Those arcs didn't come out that long ago. That is to say, the animation hasn't gotten exponentially better since 2014 or 2015. I mean, maybe on an aggregate basis, animation has gotten better in big time anime, but the animation level that studios were capable of pulling off in 2014 or 2015 is roughly the same as they're able to pull off today. I mean, Fate has been pulling off some of the greatest animation we've ever seen for over a decade. So the possibility that when Studio Perry had finally sat down to look at the four episodes that they were going to release on a weekly schedule, and we're like, huh, not that much better than the original, I could absolutely understand why they would be like, yeah, let's spruce this up a little bit. Because here's the thing, while a lot of Naruto fans are gonna consume whatever Studio Perriot gives them and be incredibly happy about it because it's new Naruto content, a lot of people are gonna treat these new episodes of Naruto a lot like they treat Boruto, as a moment to nitpick everything that's wrong with this new IP. And you better believe if these four episodes are just reanimations of four fights from Naruto and they don't look that much better, they're gonna get nitpicked. And Studio Perriot and Viz and Suation not only want to make a bunch of money off of this, but also have it serve as an effective celebration of Naruto's 20th anniversary. A celebration that's been months in preparation. But here's my thing. We're talking four. 22 minute episodes here. At least if we're to believe the TV guides that were released from Japan for 22 minute episodes here. And if hypothetically these episodes are just reanimations of old key moments, it's not like we need to storyboard or adapt from a manga here. We don't need to build out why these characters are fighting. We don't have to figure out what move is gonna happen next. We don't have to figure out the choreography of the battle. All of the events have already not only been drawn in a manga, but also adapted in an anime. So excuse me if I sound a bit ignorant here because obviously I don't do animation, but when it comes down to creating roughly an hour and 20 minutes of animated content, they announced they were going to make in March of this year, about five to six months ago, you would figure if it was just reanimations, they'd probably be able to do that. But then again, I don't do animation. I don't know the timetables on these kinds of things. But if I am talking like I do know what I'm talking about, why wouldn't we be able to get four 22 minute episodes that are just reanimations of key fights throughout Naruto done? in six months. Because here's the thing, the concept of reanimating Naruto has been around for almost a year. See, obviously the announcement that we were getting four new additional Naruto episodes was made in March of this year, but the Road to Naruto 20th Anniversary video, that 10 minute video of all the reanimated scenes from Naruto was made 11 months ago, which means they are working on that video a year ago, maybe more? Now, I would definitely understand if these episodes were confirmed to be an hour long, because four hours of content, no matter how you slice it, is a ton to animate, whether it's a new animation or a reanimation. But look at what One Piece is doing on a weekly basis right now with Gear 5. Sure, while well, a lot of it isn't Luffy's battle against Kaido, the scenes against Kaido are absolutely gorgeous, and this isn't all that One Piece has been able to pull off, as things like Zoro's battle against the King of Hell was also absolutely gorgeous. Now, obviously, these incredibly animation heavy episodes don't just happen in a week. You relegate a large amount of your budget to these incredibly animation heavy episodes, which results in some episodes like Naruto versus Kiba or large parts of One Piece. And that's just the way that weekly anime go, which is why I massively prefer seasonal anime. I'd rather get less of it on a yearly basis if the quality is higher. That's why I love new gen anime and the fact that all of them are seasonal. One, I never get burnt out from them, and two, the quality is always impeccable. But the thing is, what's more impressive about One Piece is currently doing is that animating a fight from a manga to an anime is incredibly difficult. While we can read a fight in the manga and even try to fill some of the motion in, in our brain, those are still still frames. And and thus adapting those still frames to actual movement that makes sense and gets Naruto or Ishiki to the points where they need to be between frames in a way that's choreographed nicely is probably one of the most intensive things you can do in animation or in directing in anime. Which is why fights like Toji versus Gojo or Naruto versus Ishiki or Kawaki versus Boruto are so impressive because they started with still frames. But if these four episodes are just reanimations of four important arcs that are incredibly fight heavy, the hard part is done, which leads me to one of two possible conclusions. One, these episodes aren't reanimations, which is a direction that I've been leaning ever since I found out that these episodes were supposed to be a half hour long. Because no matter how much content you skip or how much pacing you pick up, you cannot fit 
any of Naruto's arcs outside of maybe Itachi versus Sasuke or Naruto versus Nagato into four 22 minute episodes. And therefore the concept that we're going back and reanimating the arcs really didn't make sense to me. Even if the episodes were an hour long, while condensing Naruto versus Nagato or Itachi versus Sasuke into an hour is definitely possible, condensing either the tuning exams or the Sasuke retrieval arc into an hour is impossible, which is why I believe that if we were going to be getting reanimation arcs, they were only going to be from Naruto, not Naruto Shippuden. However, the only problem with that theory is the fact that the Road to Naruto 20th Anniversary video that was released reanimated not only Naruto, but Naruto Shippuden. Which leads me to the somewhat more reasonable conclusion that the four episodes we're getting are not reanimations. And here's the thing. This has kind of been corroborated. See, obviously in the announcement in July where we got the announcement from the Naruto official Twitter page, or should I say X, of when the four episodes would be coming out, the account tweeted that these would be new animations, which led a lot of people, myself somewhat included, to believing that these episodes would not be reanimations, but instead an entirely new arc. If you can call four 22 minute episodes an arc, in the possibility that Studio Peria got nervous about releasing a non-canon four episode arc makes a lot of sense to me. See, because here's the thing. Studio Periot released an animated version of Sasuke Retsudan, one of my favorite light novels, and it was one of the most made fun of things on the internet for about eight weeks. And genuinely, I thought the adaptation was pretty good. And the story of Sasuke Retsudan is actually really good. And that's canon content. 100% light novel canon, which is as good as manga canon, until obviously it contradicts the manga, which it usually doesn't do. So, if Studio Periot was celebrating Naruto's 20th anniversary, with a four episode non canon mini arc, and that four episode non canon mini arc was anything less than perfection, it would be like Sasuke Retsudan, but much worse. Because Sasuke Retsudan took place within the capacity of Boruto, so a lot of people just tuned out its existence. But these have explicitly been stated to be four new Naruto episodes. So if you get the hopes and dreams of every Naruto fan who hasn't had a new episode in over six years up to an unprecedentedly high level, and then go, oh yeah, it's four episodes of Team 7 trying to catch a cat, and also the animation isn't that great, your fans will eat you alive. So genuinely, unfortunately, I believe that this delay actually points more towards the fact that these will not be reanimations. That is, if you buy into that way of thinking, because there is a second alternative and maybe more fun way to interpret this news. And in order to understand that, you have to understand what's happened in the last couple of days. See, TV guides in Japan allow you to look about a week ahead. And thus, in August 28th, a lot of people in Japan, including the people who sent emails to me showing me that the episodes would be a half hour long, found out that the episode was gonna be a half hour long, because August 28th is a week, exactly seven days before September 3rd. And while some guides might allow you to look a bit further, a lot of TV scheduling isn't done more than a week in advance. And thus, the biggest and most prevailing news on August 28th is that, oh no, the Naruto episodes are only gonna be a half hour long. And that news was just as big in Japan, if not bigger, than it was here. Because not only did that mean we were getting an hour and 20 minutes of Naruto as opposed to somewhere around four hours, but also any dreams that the key arcs in Naruto were gonna be reanimated as the leak stated they were going to be, pretty much died. Which led to a massive amount of disappointment within the Naruto community, meaning that everybody going into the watching of these episodes was already going in with the wrong attitude. See, because here's the thing, when you expect four episodes of one hour long reanimated incredible fights, like Naruto vs. Nagato finally animated in a way that it deserved to be, and then do you get a four episode non-canon arc about Team 7 doing God knows what, the disappointment would be immeasurable. And I think it's worth noting that the length of these episodes leaking on the 28th and this article announcing the delay of Naruto's new episodes coming out on the 29th should not be ignored. So there's a couple of different ways to look at that correlation. One way is you can get real optimistic and you can say, oh, they're gonna make the episodes an hour long. They saw how upset everybody was about the fact that the episodes were a half hour long and therefore they're gonna increase the amount of content to meet everybody's expectations. So of course they would need more time. Their project just effectively doubled in length. And therefore, whether it's a non-canon arc or reanimation, we're gonna be getting more content, building out a bigger and better project for all of the Naruto fans out there looking for additional Naruto episodes. And that is a possibility, though like, 
not really a good one. See, because here's the thing. Let's say hypothetically, Studio Periot, Viz, Soatia, all saw that people were upset about the fact that Naruto's episodes were only gonna be a half hour long, which by the way, has been completely confirmed because in lieu of airing those new Naruto episodes, Studio Periot, Viz, and Soatia are now airing key episodes from Boruto, which is a 22 minute, half hour long show. If hypothetically, the powers that be that controlled Naruto realize that people wanted hour long episodes, they would have to scrap everything. Hey, um, remember that arc we wrote that was supposed to end in an hour and 20 minutes? Now it needs to be four hours long. How does that work? Hey, remember all that reanimation we did by cutting certain fights and also increasing the pacing to fit an entire arcs down in 22 minutes? All that works useless now too. Either way, the increasing of the length of the episodes in response to people being upset about the episodes being a half hour long would mean the project would have to start anew. Either we write a longer arc or we shove more of these previous arcs into a longer episode. Regardless, both of these changes would put Studio Periot at zero. So what is the more realistic reason that Studio Periot Vision Soei Show would see the outlashing of anger about an episode being a half hour and then decide to delay the episode's release so the next day? Probably because the backlash and anger generated by finding out that the episodes could be a half hour long could absolutely boil in to September 3rd. Let's say you stub your toe. Your toe's gonna hurt for the next two, three minutes. You might be angry about stubbing your toe for the next 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how bad your anger management is, but that anger and that pain goes away. It subsides. So if the powers that be that control Naruto were to hypothetically release these half hour episodes that people were upset about, while the backlash at the fact that these episodes were gonna be a half hour was still ongoing, the anger and backlash that they would receive for these episodes would be way worse. But if hypothetically the episodes are fine, but they're trying to wait until tempers simmer, the backlash will be way less. And genuinely, I think that's actually what might be going on here. Nobody wants to release a product to people who are angry about the product. And so Viz, Soatia, and Studio Periot are gonna give the Naruto fans a couple weeks to simmer on the facts that we're not getting reanimations. We're not getting four incredible hours of reanimated gorgeous fights. We're probably, getting four non-canon episodes, and you will like what you're fed. However, there's also the very distinct possibility that editors and animators are just horrendously overworked, and therefore the four episodes they were able to whip up in less than a year weren't great. Which makes sense when you consider the fact that they're also heavily occupied with making sure that the final arc of Boruto is gonna look better than the rest of Boruto. And that comes out in like a month. So because they're splitting resources between Boruto and the new Naruto episodes, one of the products had to suffer a little bit. But what does this mean overall? Will we see other delays coming from Studio Periot? Maybe. Because here's the thing, we've actually never gotten a confirmed date on when the Boruto anime is coming back. Well, it's hypothesized that it was going to be in October and the four episodes of new Naruto were going to act as a lead in to more Boruto. The most conservative estimates we have for Boruto's anime coming back is by the end of the year. So maybe the majority of Studio Periot's A team is too busy working on Thousand Year Blood War. And Studio Periot believe their B team should be able to get Naruto's four episodes and Boruto ready by the fall, but quickly realized it wasn't gonna happen. All I know is that my plans on September 3rd are now clear. Maybe I'll go outside. I don't know why I said that. I'll probably just play Starfield or Baldur's Gate or Armored Core. There's so many good video games out right now. But what do you guys think of this news? Do you think we're now guaranteed to get hour long episodes or do you think Studio Period is just scrambling? Tell me in the comments below and why you guys are down there, please, for me. Like this video, subscribe to the page and hit that noti bell. Growing old is watching video games pass you by like you're sitting in a car driving down the highway and being like, huh, that one looks fun. I haven't beaten Elden Ring yet.